For Matthew Stafford's favorite target in Cooper Cup, he enters Sunday with 1,829 yards. There needs a buck 36 to break the record to pass Calvin Johnson. Does he get that done? I think that's going to be tough. 136 yards is going to be a rough one, especially against the San Francisco 49ers who have won five straight, but it's possible. I kind of want Calvin Johnson's record of 1,964 yards to stand too. I think that's one of the best things that's ever happened to the, to the Detroit Lions in the last 30 years of that franchise. But it's more likely Cooper Cup will break the receptions record held by Michael Thomas. He needs just 12 receptions to break it. He's had five double-digit receiving games this year and 13 catches against the Cardinals on December 13th. To me, this is the, mo the biggest option that he has to make the record books. So good luck to Cooper Cup. You mentioned that's the second one I was going to say there, the 12 shy of Michael Thomas's record set back in 2019. If you're Matthew Stafford or maybe Cooper Cup, are you like, you know what, can you just feed me? Yeah, we've been doing this all season. Absolutely. And, you know, and I can already hear the 49ers fans. Oh, you have a lead. Why did you run away with it? Hey, listen, you don't like it, don't lose. But the one thing that's really fun to do when you're on an offense in the NFL is to say, hey, we got a chance to set a record. Let's go make somebody on our offense a part of the history book. That's a nice notch on your belt. Also, Sean McVay will be able to say, hey, I designed plays to break records and it happened. So there's a lot of confidence you get as an offense when you have the chance to break an NFL record with one of the players on your team. I, I think Cooper Cup gets the receptions for sure, and, and it could be possible that he gets the receiving yards as well. He's one of the most dynamic receivers in the NFL, and it's really amazing what he's done since they lost Woods earlier this year. Ryan, I got a question this, though. You know, if they start throwing these five- or three-yard slants and you start seeing them tacking on these receptions, I mean, how much respect does it come with that record now? Hey, you get a lot of respect. <laughs> 100, you caught the football 149 times in the NFL in a season? There are some people's careers who haven't caught 149 balls. So it does matter. It may be ticky-tack, but hey, we can all pad the stats to get up there. If you're going to break a record, that's a big deal. And that's something that, you know, credit to the NFL, putting a 17th game, 17th game in has really increased the playoff talk for a lot of teams, even up to last week. But also, it gives you the chance to break some old records that, that haven't been touched in a while. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.